Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T here, and today I'm bringing you a video of what's on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Now, the inspiration on doing this video is, I've had a few people reach out to me in the comment sections of my YouTube video, asking me what launcher do I run, um, what keyboard do I run, what widget setup do I have, um, you know, basically how my phone is set up. So I decided, and another one of my good friends um, also reached out to me and said, hey, you should do a what's on your iPhone or what's on your Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus video. So I said, let me go ahead and record it real quick, guys, so I can clear the air about how I actually have my phone and how it's actually set up on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll also get into which case I'm actually using because I do have a lot of people reach out to me just asking me, hey, what case do you use on your phone? You get so many cases and you do so many case reviews, but what case you know, do you actually like? So we're gonna go ahead and get into all that. So first off, as you see guys, I do have the always on display. There's a picture of my car there. Uh, like this video, comment down below guys if you wanna do a video test um, of my car. A few people have seen my car on my lock screen and things like that. Um, I do have a Maxima with a few things done to it. If you are a car person, you know, let me know. I might do a 4K video test or a 1080p 60 frame per second video test um, of a walk around of the car so if you guys if, that, if that's something you're interested in i'll go up to the rooftop of my place do a walk around video test of my actual car if that's something you guys want to see so let me know but i do have a picture of my car on my always on display i do use the always on display guys it's always excellent nice little touch when i'm at work i don't have to unlock my phone to see what notifications i have just pick it up and the always on display will always show me you know what notifications are waiting on me for when I unlock the device. So, unlocking the device, we are greeted with the widget and most of my apps that I use on a daily basis. Now, the widget that I use, guys, is HD widgets. So if you go over here, we have HD widgets here. You can actually choose and customize how you want your clock to be set up, the background, you know, different clock styles, but I always use the same styles. I don't really venture far from it, so. I usually always use, let's see if I can get back to the actual style that I do use. Boom. So that's what I use here, guys. HD widgets. You have a few different options of what widgets you can actually use. You can actually choose just to show today's weather or you can have it show the next five day weather, you know, basically outlook for whatever your city is. So basically what I have it on is my local weather and the next five days of how the weather is going to be. And that kind of helps me without having to open the app or do any extra steps to see what, what, what the weather's gonna be like in the next few days. So, I do use HD widgets. Now, I was a diehard Beautiful Widgets Pro user. Now, if you're a diehard Android user, you already know about Beautiful Widgets. Everybody, most of everybody has already ran Beautiful Widgets in the past. Not anything, no, no, no nothing really shunned me against Beautiful Widgets. I just happened to stumble across HD widgets and I've been using it ever since. So, I do use HD widgets as my weather widget and clock widget as you can see here. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at how I have my, my apps set up and my icons and my folders. So on the far left here guys, you see I have, you know, the Play Store, always gotta keep that handy. You My social media basically, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and my gallery. Pop over here in the social media folder, we have GroupMe, I'm on GroupMe, I have a lot of groups, I have a lot of group chats that I'm part of. I'm on group me mostly every part of, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of the day. It should be on my home screen, not even in a folder, but I do use group me on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. Twitter, of course, my Facebook Messenger app, Facebook pages manager for my for my technically T page there. I do use WhatsApp. Uh, let me pop out of that. I do use WhatsApp from time to time and a few group messages there. If somebody has an Android or something and they want to send me a or a large file without being kind of distorted or anything, we'll pop over in WhatsApp. LinkedIn for mostly my job and you know, staying connected within the social network of my job. Periscope, I don't really use Periscope. Um, I watch a few of my, few YouTubers and things like that on Periscope, but I don't use it all the time. I actually wanna start doing maybe some live feeds on Periscope myself. I'm not really sure you know, how much interest that would be, but I'm thinking about it. CastBox, listening to a few podcasts, um, I do listen to Jay Williams' pod podcast, shout out to Jay Will. I'm not sure if he follows me or whatnot, but I do love listening to his podcast when I'm at work. And also, Yelp. Yelp kind of helps me when I'm in those restaurants and I can't decide what I want to eat. I go take it to Yelp and see if I can see a picture of that actual dish. Next, let's go over here, look at the media. So my media, you know, I already have my 
Studio app to check my YouTube statistics and things. Apple Music, even though I have an Android, I still use Apple Music. That's what I pay for my music subscription from. So Apple Music it is. HBO Go, you guys already know. Netflix, Pandora, Datpiff for listening to some of my mixtapes. And Spreaker.com. Like I said, I also listen to Jay Will on Spreaker.com as well. Next, let's look at the travel folder. So we have Waze. I do use this as my main GPS. Waze is the is the goat when it comes to GPS. Uh, Google Maps as well. You know, sometimes Waze doesn't have the hours and things like that of when the places are closing that I may be going to. So I'll pop open Google Maps, use that as well. Um, Uber, Lyft, I use these a lot of times when me and my friends go out. You know, definitely don't drink and drive people. That's what these apps are for. I, I can't tell you how many times I've used Uber and Lyft. I've used Uber so many times, I swear they deserve to give me a free ride or something like that. I use Uber all the time. Me and my friends use it faithfully. Guys, do not drink and drive. Please take advantage of Uber and the Lyft app. I use those every weekend. If I go out somewhere, I do not drive on the weekends. And uh, Southwest, the Fly Delta app, you know, a couple of the airlines app. I kind of download those as I need them, as I have flights to go somewhere. Sometimes I don't keep them on my phone permanently, but I will download them as I need them. So that's a travel folder. Let's pop over to the shopping app. Amazon, of course, you know, I order everything from Amazon. I don't know what I would do without Amazon Prime. I just don't know what I would do without it. I don't know what I did before I had Prime. I don't know how I order things from Amazon. I can't wait more than two days when I have to order something. Best Buy app, I order a lot of things from Best Buy. Pretty self-explanatory. eBay, Eventbrite for parties and different things that I go to, different events. Groupon and my Nike Plus app. I'm not really a shoe head, guys, but I do, you know, grab, grab a few pairs of shoes from time to time. So I do enjoy the Nike Plus app. Skip over here to the business side. Wells Fargo, my banking app, Venmo, Cash app. You guys already know about those. PayPal, Samsung Pay. And also, I want to give a, good, a shout out to Samsung Pay, guys. Samsung Pay is a beast. I think it's really underrated and kind of over, you know, overlooked when it comes to Apple Pay and things like that. But Samsung Pay is a monster. I've been using it everywhere that doesn't actually take my card to swipe it. If they have a terminal, I've been killing Samsung Pay. I really, really enjoy using Samsung Pay. Um, Geico Mobile, you know, car insurance, my little Geico Mobile app, and the Mint app, basically a little personal finance app. I use those as well. Flip it over. I don't know why I keep pressing the camera button. Flip it over to the, my Google apps. Now, these are where I usually keep all of my Google apps um, stored in the one folder so I can kind of understand, you know, what Google apps that I do use. Google Plus, of course, you know, always, always on Google Plus looking at the latest tech news and different things like that. Google Chrome, my Google AdSense account, Drive, Google Duo. I haven't used the Google Duo. I know it's kind of like a FaceTime-ish, you know, app, but I haven't used it. I need to use it to see what that quality is all about. The Google Keyboard, that is the, that is the keyboard app that I use. I do not use the stock Samsung keyboard, and I don't use Swift Keyboard. Now, I do have Swift Key, Swift Key I'm sorry. I do have Swift Key Keyboard, but... It's always a toss up between them and the Google keyboard. So right now I'm using the Google keyboard and I'm actually loving it. Uh, we have Google search, Google keep documents, my Google photos. I always sync my Google photos and back it up with Google photos. It's always a, a wonderful service. I use that either, even on my iPhone. I use, it, I use them both. And we have my play games app here. Skipping over to the photography section, we have Bitmoji. Everybody knows Bitmoji. You already know what it is. There's my Bitmoji. <laughs> <laughs> that's not really the outfit I have on them, but that's my Bitmoji there. <laughs> so that's that. Get back in that. We have uh, Fiverr. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Fiverr, but what Fiverr is, is an app. You know, they use, they actually, the, those graphic designers over there have, has developed my uh, logo, my intro to my videos. It's a lot. Of, if you guys are looking for logos or video intros or outros or, or whatever service like that, graphic-wise, Head over to Fiverr, guys. Those graphic designers are excellent, and they get you taken squared away. Um, pop back in there. We have Meme Generator. I take a funny picture. I make a meme out of you. Me and my friends use it all the time. Meme Generator. Pick Stitch. You know, putting pictures pictures together. You sometimes I use Instagram Layout, kind of the same thing. But you know, Pixar. I basically use Pixar all the time. That's the app I use to make my YouTube thumbnails and put my icon on the thumbnails and things like that. And uh, Tweetgram, just when I want to, you know, put a quote or something on Instagram, I use Tweetgram. Flip it over to some of the games I actually play. I know a lot of guys, you know, I'm not really a, a heavy game player, but I have Eight Ball Pool. Now, shout out to my homie PJ. He's one of my local car clubs down here in Atlanta. He put me on Eight Ball Pool a couple days ago, 
and I want to blame him for my non-productivity at work. I've been playing this eight ball pool game like crazy and I cannot get off of it. So if you guys want to play me or if you play eight ball pool, let me know down in the comments, guys. I'll shoot you my unique ID and you can get this L if you want it. But I do play the eight ball pool, addicted to it. Excellent pool game if you do like playing pool on your phone. Uh, Clash of the Clans, I haven't really played that a lot. I was die hard in the Clash of the Clans. It kind of fell off a little bit for me, but I, I, it's still up here. And I do open it from time to time, you know, change my village up. I'm a part of a clan and all that, but I haven't actually been on like I supposed to. Pokemon Go, everybody was playing Pokemon Go. I didn't grow up on Pokemon Go, but when it, when it first came out, I had to get it out of the hype. The hype was crazy about Pokemon Go, so I had to grab it. Super Mario Run, classic Mario, you can't beat that. And Candy Crush, when I'm bored somewhere, I'll pop open Candy Crush. I'm pretty sure I'm stuck on a high level. And I open it from time to time. If I'm sitting, waiting somewhere, I open up Candy Crush and give it a try. Next, we have food. My food section is very short. I really don't order a lot of food on my phone, but we have the Jimmy John's app, Grubhub, Tendrum. I'm not, familiar, not sure if you guys are familiar with Tendrum down here in Georgia. I don't know how. I don't know if it's everywhere. And open table for, you know, making those dinner reservations. Next, we have the settings tab here. I mean, the settings button there. And basically, what's in my dock is phone, my Gmail, my internet, text messages, and my camera icon. So that's basically how I have my phone set up. Go over to the second page. I basically have a widget to see my subscriber count and basically a widget for ways for when I, I can see when I get off work, how long it'll take me to get to work, and then when I'm at work, how long it'll take me to get home. It's kind of a basically to judge to see what this Atlanta traffic is about. Because like I said, guys, I do stay in downtown Atlanta, so you always need to know what that Atlanta traffic has going on. But other than that, I also use Nova Launcher. I did take the stock Samsung Launcher off. Now, it was a great launcher. Don't get me wrong. But I did take it off. I do use Nova Prime. I use it on all my Android devices. Super lag-free, guys. No stuttering. No anything that you may get with the stock Samsung Launcher. And if you guys want to know what icon pack I'm using for the Nova Launcher, I'm actually using Elegance UI. And this basically... Keeps you, keeps it kind of stock and reminds you of the stock interface, you know, with the Samsung UI. So Elegant UI is the icon pack that I use for Nova Launcher Pro. And that's basically it, guys. Very simple, very minimalistic design. I don't really keep a lot going on with my phones. As you guys can see, I do use an all-black background. I always use all-black backgrounds from I can remember. I just love the way the colors actually pop. And I really don't like using, you know, busy backgrounds of actually pictures and things like that because you can really get the icons and everything confused together. Everything kind of run together on you. So I tend to use, you know, black, gray, dark blue icons, things like that. Now, flipping it over to what case I use, guys, and I do use the Subcase Unicorn Beetle hybrid case for the SA+. Plus. I've always loved Subcase cases. I do have a ton of cases over here that I need to actually review for you guys speaking to sending me a box of cases um and Scipio just sent me a whole box of cases shout out to Scipio for dropping me that case in the mail um they include like six cases so you guys will see all those coming up on the channel in a few days but me personally I do use the sub case and if you if I had to give a second place for a case is the oblique flex pro and if I had to do a third place is my favorite case for the SA plus I will say the out of box symmetry series and you guys know I do use my out of box symmetry on my iPhone 7 Plus on a daily basis. I love that case. I always try different cases when I get them, but I always find myself coming right back to the out of box symmetry. So, guys, that is a quick video. It's not really quick. Actually, it was like almost 15 minutes long. But I wanted to show you guys how I, what I have on my SA Plus and how I have it set up. Now, I didn't really get involved with all the apps and things on my phone. I just want to give you guys a quick overview of what I actually use on my home screen and widgets and that set up like that. So if you guys want to see something similar like this to my iPhone, which is kind of set up very similar, nothing really different. But if you guys want to see a what's on my iPhone video, I can make one of those for you. Get it pumped out. And if you want to see it, guys, let me know down there in the comments. But as always, guys, give a give a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to see more impromptu type videos, um, I kind of want to get in, the dip, in the, get in the habit of doing something a little different, more than just case reviews and different things like that. I'm not really in the vlogging type style, but if you guys have got some recommendations on what kind of videos you want to see, let me know. Um, drop it down in below, guys. I'll always try to comment you guys, you know, reply to you guys' comments. I don't want, if, I don't want a comment sitting down there unread. So... 
Get busy down there in the comment section, guys, and thank you for watching the video. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Later.